Okay, today we're going to talk about how to measure a belt. There's a few different ways to do it. First, you want to measure the width of your belt. So what you do is just take a standard tape measure, and then you'll come up here on the top side of the belt, and you're going to measure across. Easiest way to find the width of it. So I find that this one is a 3 8 belt. So what I'm going to do with this is there's two ways that you can measure a belt. One, you can use our belt measure, the 752998. Or you can use a fabric tape, um, kind of like that they use in the clothing industry. Um, if people don't have a belt measure, this is probably your best way to go. More flexible, it can follow all the curves. So today, instead of using our fabric tape, I'll go ahead and use our belt measure. So I know this is a 3 8 belt. I'm going to put this belt in with the V down. <clears throat> I have two different jaws on this. I have a fixed jaw and a movable jaw. So what I do is I just put it in there, let it sit, and then I'll bring this down. Uh, if you don't have a tape measure to measure the width of the belt, and all you have is our belt measure, real easy way to tell what type of belt you have. If you bring this down and bring it tight, here in the corner it's going to tell you what the width of the belt is. Uh, you have an L3 or 3L, uh, you have an L4 or a 4L, or you have the L5 or the 5L. Uh, and all that means is the L3 is a 3 8 belt, the L4 is a 4 or the half inch, and the L5 is a 5 8 So when I bring this down and I make it tight, the back of my belt rides into the square that says L3 so I know it's a 3 8 belt. So now that I know what size or the width of it, then I can bring it down and find out my length. So now I'm going to look up here into where my L3 or my 3L mark is and it shows that I have a 38 inch belt. These, uh, these helpful hints from your STEMS tech department have helped you answer any questions that you had on how to measure a belt, the correct ways to measure a belt. Um, again, if you have any questions, feel free to call your STEMS technical department and uh, we can get any question you have answered. measuring the belts this is a good tool to use on a brand new belt um, if you have a used belt that's been on your lawnmower for a while they tend to stretch out after time uh, so you're gonna have a little bit of a variance uh, when you're talking about the measurements um, always best to go through and and cross the part over exactly but if you're in a pinch and you have to measure the belt you're gonna have a little bit of play up to probably about a half inch or three quarters of an inch This belt measure here, it'll do all different types of belts. It'll do a 3 8 belt, a half inch belt, a 5 8 um, It does the industrial A and B belts. Uh, it'll measure up to 100 inches. In, in the lawnmower industry, you don't use a lot of industrial belts. So we just worry about this side, just your, what they call their fractional horsepower or your premium line belts. Um, we really don't use horsepower when you're talking about a deck belt. Um, it doesn't matter what horsepower you have, it matters what deck you have. can hang these up on your shop wall, you can put them down on the counter. Um, pretty universal on anywhere that you want to hang it at. Uh, you don't have to bring it super tight, you don't have to jam down on it. Just bring it down until it's tight and there's your measure. 